girl is back at y'all with another video honey sorry that i'm a little late baby had to go run some errands this morning first i had to get my little one little nail fix honey i'm like i can't walk around this bitch with no broken nail baby i can't do it it's been broke for two days <laughs> okay y'all so yeah let's go ahead and hop right on into the video y'all let's get a bible verse before we get started see what's going on i do challenge you guys to read these bible verses um this is a new love channel Okay, I'm not talking about nobody from you from you guys' past. I'm gonna stop calling y'all bitches, cuz y'all be for y'all. Oh, I'm not a bitch, I'm not a bitch, girl. All, all of us is bitches. This this been coming out for the last couple of days, though, y'all. Um, John 3.16, for God so loved the word that he gave his only son for the people who believe in him shall not perish. Okay, they keep coming out, so I'm gonna get another one. So we got um horsey. Six, chapter six, chapter six, chapter six, verse six, honey. I don't damn know. It's gonna be in the description box below, honey. Here you go, right here. Okay, <laughs> okay, Jose. Whatever it is, okay. I want you to show love, not sacrifice. Oh, this is exactly what I be saying. I'm sorry, y'all. I want you to show love, not offer sacrifice. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. Let's read it one more time. I want to I want you to show love, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than burnt offerings. Okay, honey. God say all that sacrificing and all that stuff that y'all doing, it's irrelevant if you don't know who God is. If you don't put God first, God said your obedience is way more than the sacrifice. All you got to do is listen to him and you won't have to sacrifice nothing. You won't have to do no rituals. You won't need no crystals. You won't need none of that stuff. If you just listen to the word of God, if you just listen to your intuition, listen to what he's telling you to do. He's trying to connect with you. Some, some of us, we're connected to God directly, so we don't need nothing. We don't have to offer a sacrifice. We don't have, I'm living an example of this shit. I never have to sacrifice nothing. Every level I go up, 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 up. Okay, only thing that happens to me is I is I have to wait. I be in that waiting season. In that waiting season, I might think I'm a little song, but I never lose nothing. I never lose nothing. Cause I follow God's order. So yeah, that'll be in the description box below, you guys. So of course, y'all know how we do it in the morning, baby. We're gonna go ahead and get into the um into self first. What's going on with self? What's going on with self? I'm here, stop holding back. You scared? You scared? Let's see what's going on. What's going on, honey? What's going on with self, honey? Choose, look, it says choose a new direction here. All these cards came out. Choose a new direction, perfect timing, heavy on the yes, recovery, remain positive here. Okay, I feel like God is telling you to move in a different direction here. It's something new fun and exciting that I feel like God is literally finna open up a door for you. That's why I'm here. When one door closed, another door shall open here. Something that's finna pop off at the perfect timing for you. There's somebody choosing you with the major yes, or you're going to just say yes to this, say however it resonates. It's going to put you in recovery where you're going to recover from wounds, losses, everything here. So just keep remaining positive. I, 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 ooh, I was going to say, I believe this is coming in because you was positive, because you didn't give up, because you just kept trusting in God. Take it how every resonate for someone. Okay, let's see what they're about. Yeah, look at the signs. Okay, do not stop. Look at the signs. Nothing right now is coincidence. That's what I'm hearing. Nothing right now is a coincidence. Ooh, girl, my eye. Girl, first of all, let me tell y'all something. I just found out on TikTok that it's not safe. To put hair glue on your eyes because it messed your your vision up. So the whole time I thought it was my contacts messing with my visions. No, it's the hair glue. So I had to make sure I get me some um eyelash glue in the waterproof kind, girl. Girl, pray for me, honey. I, I'm telling y'all, I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> so let's see. Let's get one um card real quick. Okay, so. Three cards came out. Yeah, somebody is in some type of major cycle. I don't know why I just heard moving. Some of you guys are finna be moving. Some of you guys are finna be relocating here. I feel like God is ending this chapter. Yeah, nine of cups. You're finna get some type of wish fulfillment, something that's going to emotionally satisfy you here. So I feel like with this world card, like I said, something is coming to an end. You have closed a major cycle. 
in your life. And I'm hearing God say he's proud of you. I could be talking to a Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries here. I feel some energy too where you're stepping into that determination. You're willing to do any and everything it takes to better your future, to better your life and better your career. I'm hearing um, businesswoman. I'm hearing social media influencer. I'm hearing creator. I'm hearing... Hmm. Social social media influence creator business owner. That's what I'm hearing. Six of Swords. Something something right now. I feel like you had to move away from hard times, rocky past, and things like that. I feel like you had to just get a peace of mind within the state that you're in now. You just had to be comfortable no matter what's going on around you. It might look difficult. It might look like science. It might look like it's hard to figure out. But I feel like some of y'all just came to peace with it. Like, okay, the things that I can fix, I'm going to fix. And the things that I can't, I'm going to give it over to God here. So that's the kind of energy that I feel like somebody should be in or is going to be in. Take it however it resonates. On your new on your new path, you're going to be um defending others too. I see you standing up for other people as well. I don't know why something just jumped off this card. I think it I think it was like a light or something that just jumped off this card. So I feel like whenever this new path come in, follow the light. That's what I'm hearing. Follow the light. Wherever the light shall lead you go. God is walk God has already walked this path for you here. I'm here. He fought battles for you in advance. He moved a lot of stuff out of your way here. Justification here. So I feel like whatever is going on, you have been justified. Okay. I feel like you was going through a season of karma where, where God was even in the scales here. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're going to get what you deserve out of life. You're going to get everything that you've been working hard for here. Yeah. Child came out. Some of y'all could be defending innocent children could be defending kids because you know like you've been there before i feel like um like i said you're going to be standing up for people that's very innocent people who don't have voices people who can't talk for themselves here or people that people just don't listen to it's going to bring it's going to make you some type of mature woman here you're older you're wiser now that's what i'm hearing good fortune so i feel like some type of good fortune is most definitely going to come into your life here courtroom coming out you some of y'all might end up if y'all going to school for justice or y'all should go to school for justice, criminal justice here. Y'all will be great lawyers, great public defenders. Take that however it resonates here. So I feel some energy too. Like I said, um, you're going to be standing up for people. And it's going to emotionally satisfy you too. So let's see what all, what else is going on. Let's see what's else going on in the career and finance. Let's see what's going on with the career and finance. And also, real quick, I'm hearing God say about this situation, too, is if you feel like you need to stand up towards somebody that once made you happy, don't be scared to do it. Some of y'all might need to stand up to some type of older woman. Take it however it resonates here. Take that. Okay. You know, sometimes they be like, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't disrespect your elders, but elders should not provoke, provoke either. And I'm not telling you to disrespect your elders. I'm just telling you, hey. Mom, I don't like the way you talk to me like that. Or, Mom, I don't like when you do that, Mom. I'm not telling you, oh, pussy-ass bitch, you don't want to fucking try me. No. I'm just telling you to say what you need to say nicely, okay? It's not no argument. And if somebody take offense to it, you just say, okay. That's it. And you just walk away. Because sometimes people people are not going to listen. People don't care, you know? So as long as you got it off your chest, it's fine. You know, move on. Move on. So let's get on. Um, one career in finance, career in finance, extra angels came out. What's going on, career in finance? <laughs> waiting here. I feel like you've been in a season of waiting here. Nothing probably been coming through. I feel like everything been on a halt. I feel like you've been taking action towards things, but you just, you probably been throwing stuff at the wall trying to see if it stick here. So whatever you've been working towards while you've been in your waiting season, something is going to come out in the near future here. So let's see. Yeah, there's something better at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're doing something right now in your waiting season, taking action towards something because you're you're waiting for your blessings. You're waiting for something new to come in. So whatever you're doing, you won't be doing this stuff for too much longer. That's what I'm hearing. So let's see what's going on. Career finance. What's going on? Career finance. Okay, honey. It it bounced. It went in and bounced back out. 
Okay, we got the Eight of Wands here. I feel like something that you're doing right now is putting you on your right path, but you're finna have some type of spinoff, some type of unexpected changer. The Wheel of Fortune is here for your career in finance. Some of y'all might literally finna hit the jackpot, hit the lottery, tell you how it resonate. But I feel some energy where you're finna get some type of break in life. I feel like you've been going through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of rocky situations here. Yeah, two of swords being here. I feel like you had to block a lot of things out in order to bring happiness in, in order in order for your life to change in your career and finance as well here. I feel like whatever you was holding on to, it was messing up your career and finance. With the Ten of Swords, can't nothing get no worse than what you've been through here. I feel like you've been going through a lot of ruins, a lot of things that have been breaking you down, a lot of things that have been hurting you. But I feel like some of you guys are realizing that everything is fine, everything is going to be okay. So you chose to end this cycle, chose to close and make your cycle when it comes down to your career and finance here or some of y'all might get some type of communication here with the two of swords that somebody did not choose you that somebody um that the opportunity was not yours take it however it resonate maybe you guys been waiting okay but understand when it come in it's for a better reason this y'all wasn't gonna do nothing but hurt you ruin you and break you down here so yeah just trust god that he's gonna give you some it's the pinnacles he's gonna give you something better than what you was worried about than what you had in the past here. So if this was some type of job opportunity that you guys really, really wanted, don't be mad if you don't get it here. Just trust in God that he has a better plan for you. It's something, it's, I'm here, you should be a business owner. You really should invest in yourself. It's time to invest in yourself here. So let's see what's going on with the career, with the career and finance. What's going on with career and finance? Yeah, Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune just flew out on top of the Will of Fortune. Good Fortune just flew out on top of the Will of Fortune, okay? So there's something that's literally finna come in unexpected out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you was up. You feel me? One day you was broke, next day you reach a shit. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm feeling like. Or one day you was broke, and next day you're living comfortably here. This is like literally walking somewhere and finding money. Take how it resonates. Somebody might communicate something with you really fast, come in out of nowhere, like, hey, I think I think you'll be a better fit here, or I choose you here. I feel like this is be the this would be the best option. Take it however it resonates here, and it's gonna bring a lot of good fortune in your life. Don't tell me more. What's going on with this career in finance? Yep, main female. Somebody sees you at the as the main options as as the madam. It's like, hey, can't nothing get no no better than this pick here. So somebody did make a head over heart decision here and they chose to block out something else in order to bring a main female in. Yeah, unexpected income. So you're finna get get some type of handout. Somebody wanna give you something. What's the ten of swords? What's the ten of swords? Yeah, a house. Wow. Some of y'all probably felt like y'all was going through a lot with the Ten of Swords in y'all house, feeling like, man, I don't know what to do here. That's because God was finna move you. God is finna move you here. So it's got something to do with a house where some of you guys are literally finna relocate. Y'all either can move in with someone that's wealthy, take how it resonate, or y'all just gonna, God gonna give you something new. Also, I feel like, too, it's like, from what I understand, it's rental assistance out here. So if you need that, that could come in for you. Take how it resonates. That's why God just telling you to calm down with it because some type of good fortune is most definitely going to come in when it comes down to your house. Some of y'all might really end up relocating, going towards something better here. So now let's get into that love life, friend. Let's get into the love life. Let's see what's going on. Taking action just to lead out. So um, somebody could take action or if you're trying to take action towards your career and finance, I'm hearing God say stop. I'm hearing God literally say stop, okay? The, the, I'm hearing the less you work, the more money you're going to get. The less you do, the more you're going to make. And I'm living an example of that. The less you do, the more you're going to wait. The more you're going to make. So just focus on your career, focus on your finances. If some of y'all need to go, I'm here, some of y'all might need to go part-time, okay? Don't be scared to go part-time because you will make your money somewhere else. You'll make you'll make more money with your creativity. So let's see, um, let's go ahead and see what's going on with your love life, with your love life. What's going on with that? What's going on in your love life? Taking action. I said taking action slid out. I shuffled the deck up three times and it came out. At this point, I think I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm just psyching now. I was just, 
Look, it say abundance at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be taking action towards you, um, choosing choosing you. Take that however it resonates. It's time to move forward. Somebody tired of waiting. Somebody tired of waiting of sitting still. And with the major yes at the bottom of the deck. So somebody do choose you with the abundance card. Somebody want to expand you. Somebody want to give you some form of a su success. I see everything in your life expanding now. Okay, you might get more followings, more views, more everything when this person come in. Here, I feel like everything about you is literally going to change with that with that abundance card here. You're gonna have enough money to turn yourself into whatever you want to turn yourself into. I feel like this is gonna be some type of offer that you're not gonna be able to resist. This is gonna be a part of your testimony, a part of your calling. Yeah, I feel like um somebody could have made a sacrifice for you. Let's see what's going on? Look at that devil card coming out. I said this is gonna be an offer that you cannot resist. Somebody is willing to do any and everything it takes to get you in. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like somebody is going through that dark night of the soul where they they're releasing their demon side here and they need help. They don't know necessarily how to just how to just let it go. You know how sometimes you gotta call on support. Okay, honey. All these cards just came out. We ain't gonna play like that. Let me get one card. Let me get two more cards and see what's going on. We got a five of cups here, some type of disappointment here. Fire signs coming out again. And then we have the three of swords is coming out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see what's going on. I feel like in the past, you was, you was going after Playboy energies. You was going after people that really didn't care, really didn't want shit in life here. A lot of stuff end up turning out a disappointment here. Okay, with the Queen of Wands being here, I feel like you had to find your confidence. You had to find out that you was really beautiful. Your self-worth here. With three of swords being here, I feel like... Somebody could have cheated. Somebody could have left you in a, in a third party situation. Somebody also could have abused you too as well here. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys go after seducers. Y'all go after people that in the beginning, they play off good. And then in the end, they end up being a damn demon here. I feel like they use their emotions to get what they want out of you. So I feel like um, God had to step in and take over here. That's honestly how I feel because you was choosing the wrong, the wrong stuff in life. Somebody had to, somebody had to show you your potential, show you what a man or female, show you what a real woman is supposed to be like, show you how to elevate yourself, so, show you how to boss up. Some of y'all might got somebody that y'all look up to here. They're like, damn, okay, let me try to, let me try to be this. Or some of y'all might like me. My future self is who I look up to. You feel me? My future self always come down to me and the way she look is the way i try to make myself look even though that bitch better than me and i can't sometimes when i see her, i can't even fucking believe she me i'm mean, I mean like damn <laughs> you feel me so some of y'all might got some energy like that or some of y'all might just got a role model for real you feel me so let's see what's going on with this devil card why is the devil here some of y'all probably was dealing with a Capricorn too as well. Somebody, yeah, these thug boys, that's all I keep hearing. Thug boys, gangsters, people who really don't want shit in their life. They might look good as hell. They might fuck good as hell. But they always end up putting burdens on you, putting things on you that, that you can't bear here. So I feel like somebody is really tired of that shit here. With the Ace of Wands, I mean the Ace of um, Cups being here, I feel like somebody is going towards something new here. Going towards something fun, exciting. Somebody's heart is pure here. And I feel like people take advantage of your pure heart too as well yeah seven of cups being here i feel like people always ha always have you as an option here because they they don't know what they want in themselves so they put you in the jungle energy they put you as an option here so i feel like there's going to be something new that's going to come around for you here it's literally going to come out of nowhere with the seven of cups here because some of y'all really don't y'all y'all don't know how to make a good choice y'all don't know how to make a good choice so i'm hearing god is making a choice for you okay so when this opportunity come in i'm hearing god I tell you to walk out on faith and not, and not by sight here. This might look like a, de a demonic energy, but you're, I'm hearing you're strong enough. You're, this is not a demonic energy here. God got people here in that world as well. So don't worry about it. Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's going to lead out to some type of wish fulfillment here. Some type of, some type of dream come true. Some type of how, has, uh, happy household. That's what I'm hearing with this Ten of Cups come out here. It's going to end great. I feel like somebody did have a lot of options to choose from, but now they're realizing like, hey, I only choose one. Like, this is the perfect, like, whatever. Like, they like, this is the perfect one. Okay, this is the perfect fit. I feel like the water going to run from this forever. You're going to literally have everything that you need and more. And I feel like this person choo sees that he chose you because he sees that in you that you're that you're loyal here, that you'll never that you'll never end, never leave, it'll never end here. 
So I feel like somebody most definitely, like I said, was going through a lot of disappointment. You could have been chosen last, but I feel like God said he put you last because there was a great place to bless you in. If he put you last, then all these people that this man been done ran through, y'all don't know who this energy is, okay? So all these people that this man been done ran through, he been done got so hurt. To the ones, he been done got so hurt. To where he's not going to want to do that shit to nobody else. He literally is releasing releasing that devil here. He's letting that devil go. He's been getting a taste of his own medicine here. So now he's learning like, damn, I can't treat people like this. Because if I treat somebody like this, they're going to treat me like this. This shit is it's going gonna, it's gonna to be back and forth. It don't matter how good the bitch is. That's, and that's exactly how he's feeling with this Ace of Cups being here. It don't matter how good the, the whole heart is. Because if you're a fucked up ass individual... She gonna get on it. It's, it's like it's like it's gonna rub off energies here. You know, you like, you know, when you fuck a nigga, you end up turning into that nigga. Don't play now. That's why some of y'all be fighting demons. That's why some of y'all be so fucking depressed and y'all be vibrating so low because the nigga that you fucking is, is depressed. He's vibrating low, but he's coming off like he just happened to the world. He's not. He don't put his demons off on you. So now he's realizing, like, oh shit. <laughs> I gotta change. I gotta change. I gotta look at that man in the mirror. He might he might could smoke cigarettes. He like, oh no, I can't I can't be this way no more. You feel me? So what's going on with this uh five of cups? What's going on with this five of cups here? Yeah, seven of um pentacles in reverse. Something a lot of stuff was a failure here. A lot of stuff he tried to put time, effort. I'm here trying to get to know people here. And it didn't go nowhere. I feel like this person invested a lot of shit into people and it, it and it was a fail. Failure, 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 failure. Yeah, people always I feel like it always ended in an argument. It always ended in him having to defend himself, him having to end up blocking something out here. Yeah, the two of swords. I feel like this person is making a head over heart decision here. Not not going after the past shit no more. I feel like this a lot of stuff be coming in out of nowhere, blindsiding him. Like one moment they good, next moment shit here in the cellophane. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what the fuck is this? That's the type of energy that I'm feeling like. I feel like one morning they just wake up fucking crazy. It's only so long that you can hide that demon, that, that demonic ass spirit. And he end up having to block shit out. He end up having to stand up and defend for himself here. Yeah, the justice card is being here. So a lot of stuff, like I said, he been going through has been karma for him. It's ha it have been making, it's even in the scales now. It's been shit he been doing to past people, so he end up getting it back. So now he's learning with the Page of Pentacles. He's learning that he has to ground his energy. He has to be stable. He has to be loyal. He has to be pure at heart in order to get somebody else like that. That's the energy that I'm feeling him. This could be you or him. Take it however it resonates. So I feel like this person is learning to ground their energy. They're learning to humble themselves. Mm. They're learning to humble themselves here because they're realizing like, damn, like, I, he be wanting stuff to go the way he imagined in his head, but it don't because he chooses the wrong shit every time and it, and it ends in a fail. So he like, now I'm going to go after something young, stable, and pure at heart. But in order for this to work, I have to be on the same level. So this person is literally trying to make himself calm down on that same level. So he's taking action, facing that person in the mirror, like, okay, I got to change in order for someone else to change. That's what I'm hearing. What's going on with this queen of wands? He could be choosing a queen of wands. Take it however it resonates. Or, or um, take, yeah, just take that out. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, the hyphen card just came out. Okay, this is going to lead to some type of higher level commitment. I feel like he could be choosing somebody who's very determined, very attractive, and very willing to do anything it takes to get her point across as well. And I feel like this person feel like they can relate to you here. I feel like um, y'all might got some old traditional ways here. I feel like he chooses you because you believe in God so strong and so heavy here. Also, I feel like um, this man has a hand of God over him, but he just he got influenced by the world with that devil card being here. So this man he knows God. He was raised in the church and things like that. But like I said, with that devil card coming in, it was the world that, that consumed him. So he is ready to convert back. That's what I'm hearing. He's ready to give his life back over to God here. So I feel like this person is choosing you because of your religion, because of what you really believe in, that you really know God here. Tell me more. This is going to be a part of his calling, a part of his testimony as well. I feel like this person most definitely has been looking at you too. He's very wise. He's very spiritual here. This is a this is a wise ass man because he done been through a lot here. 
So with the page of swords, I feel like this person watches you and he's very curious about you. He's curious about your beliefs and your religions as well, too. I feel like this person, um, he keep a close eye on you, too. This person do want to message you something. And when he messages you something, it could lead to a high level commitment fast. Tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on? Yeah, the magician card being here. This is a brand new beginning here. I feel like this person is gaining control over their life. They have full control over everything. I feel like, too, this person is going to want to be the leader in a situation. He's going to want to provide here. So he's going to have full control over everything in both of you guys' lives. That's what I'm feeling like with that magician card being here. Also, I feel like this person feel like he is some type of hidden skill in you. Like, you might got a real calling to preach, to prophesy, to how it resonates. So... Yeah, the Queen of Swords being here. Okay, I feel like it's some energy too where this person do want to communicate something with you. They want to tell you something. They, they have something they want to get off their chest. That's what I'm feeling like. Yeah, Ada, Ada um, Wands here. This person most definitely do want to communicate something with you. They feel like you're very smart. You're very wise. Everything that you talk about is is real. It's legit here. It's like, damn, they probably, they probably could have research or they probably don't even have to research what you're saying because he already know what you're saying. It's like it's like an old grandma in you or old old granddaddy. Take it how if it resonates. It's an old soul in you. So he like, damn, this girl wise as hell. And whatever she's speaking about, it's the truth. It's the it's the real honest to God truth. What's going on with three swords? Huh? Yeah, I feel like he's moving away from somebody in the past. Somebody that really, I'm hearing a waste of time, waste of energy here. He was dealing with somebody that he really didn't want to be with here. He was just, he was just there because he didn't want to heart, he didn't want to be heartbroken. He didn't want to be alone. Take that if it resonates. Also, I feel like whoever he was, whoever he's dealing with now or was dealing with in the past could have broke his heart, could have cheated on him. She didn't have no love towards him. She just wanted him for what he had. All right. I feel like this girl was very manipulating with words him. She could have manipulated like sex, everything. Everything was just manipulation here. She also could have been working black magic on this person to try to keep him. But like I said, don't nothing, don't nothing beat the love of Jesus. Don't nothing beat God here. So I feel like when you came in, it, it showed him different and opened up his eyes towards something different here. That's the energy that I'm feeling. What's going on for six toys anymore? Yeah, Hermit. All the earth signs are here. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is here. Um, fire sign and um, air sign is here. Heavy on that Libra too as well. So I feel like this person most definitely been in hermit mode. He been watching you from a distance, and not only has he been watching you, but he been he been reflecting over his life. He been looking at all the mistakes and the good things that he made. Everything he's looking over everything. He realizing like, hey, I gotta change this person. This person feel like they gotta change, and they feel like if they go towards somebody who's single and successful, that it'll help them with the four of pentacles. They'll hold on to this person. They hold on to this person for a lifetime. That's what I'm hearing. That they can build something with this energy. Because this person don't have nothing. She's young. She's fun. She's wise. She she's living life like fairy tales and rainbows. She has everything she needs, and she picking money. She making money, picking money, and making money. This lady don't have no kids. She don't have no none of that extra stuff going on in life. I feel like with the four of pentacles, this man is gonna hold on to this energy very tight, very closely here. Okay, I'm feeling like he's gonna want to build something off this. Like I said, it's gonna it's like gaining power. Devil card is coming out twice. So, yeah, this man most definitely had, he was in, it was two devils, okay? I'm feeling like a toxic relationship. He attracted this energy. He attracted this energy. That's why you see it now. He felt controlled. I really feel some energy where he felt controlled about this black magic shit that this person had going on. But like I said, it's coming to a release. It's coming to an end now. He's letting it go now because he, he feel that. I feel like he's, he's, opening up, he's opening up to the truth here. That's honestly how I feel. So this person is taking action in their lives right now. They're knocking shit out of the way. They're doing whatever it takes to get away from evil ass spirits here. Yeah, he's gaining power. He's gaining control over his situation here. He's literally holding back from a lot of shit now. He don't have time for the bullshit. And that's because of somebody who's single and successful. He's like, man, I see something different. So I want to go after that. I want to get at a chance. He took a lot of stuff on because he was bored. And because it was, he felt like it wasn't shit better here. And now he's having some type of regret about this shit. Okay, so I feel like some energy too. In the past, he could have had somebody that was wholesome, somebody, somebody that was God sent, but he missed out on it. He chose the devil energy over it instead. So now, now that he get a second chance, a second chance around with a new love with somebody new, 
he's going to choose that person. And like I said, y'all don't know who this energy is, but he knows who y'all are. He already been watching you. He already been looking at you. That's why he chooses to just let us let a lot of stuff go. I'm, I'm hearing this. I'm hearing this man has been. Well, like I said, with the hammer card, this man been watching you on the internet. He been watching your social media, your Instagram, your TikToks. He been watching all that shit and keep a close eye on you. He watching when you when he's bored and he has passionate thoughts of you. He most definitely fantasize about you. Okay, I feel like this person is literally bored all the time. All the time, they're not doing shit. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like this person, like he he chilling in life right now. See what's going on. It say like doing better without your ass. Yeah. So it was some energy that he was like, fuck it. I'm not finna, I'm not finna deal with it. Also, I feel like on your end too, you had to say you had to let somebody go too. You had to tell that person, I'm doing way better without you here. We it's like say doing doing the most. Okay, so I feel like this person, see what's going on, bust it. Take it out if it resonate. So I feel like some energy where he could have been dealing with somebody in the past and he's realizing he's doing better without that person. That person is probably trying to do too much. She probably was trying to cater to him. But I feel like this person could have got busted in a legal system, something like that. Maybe she could be going to jail. She was in jail. He or she take care of it resonate. Weather disaster, some type of tower moment came in out of nowhere. It's like aggression. So maybe somebody could have gotten into some type of physical fight. Somebody was very angry. Somebody was very angry here, very pissed off about something. It say just leave. It's not working out here. Mm, somebody could have tried to call the police on somebody for some reason. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Somebody could have tried to do something to get some type of money here. Um, something's, but it didn't come through here. It was a failed attempt. Somebody had to stand up for themselves here because somebody tried to say that they had something to do with the shit and they didn't. And they didn't here. So I'm hearing a snitch, a rat. Take that out every resume. Something happened in the legal system though. Yeah, it say it's your power that they want. So people wish they, they could be like you. People wish that they had the anointing and the same protecting. I'm hearing people are really jealous because God favors you here. So this man right here, it say he's praying for better days because it's a lot of shit that's coming in in his life, like child moments. A lot of people could be going to jail that he probably really cared about too at the same time. And it's making him angry. I'm feeling like it's a lot of people going to jail, but it's like he's happier with someone else here. So I feel like whatever woman that he's that he was dealing with, he is not working out no more. Is he like I'm tired of it? I don't want this no more. That's the honest. That's honestly how he's feeling because he sees something better. He's happier with somebody else. It could be some type of privileged woman that he's happier with here. Somebody who look like they have their shit together. They're well put together here, and they want some. And he want this person. That's honestly God. That's honest high. I was gonna say that's the honest God truth. So that's probably is how he really feel for real, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, it say he's sprung on somebody's ass. This privileged woman, she got a big butt. Not only do she got a big butt, but she's well put together. She got her own money. She got her own finances. She don't have to ask nobody for shit. She's well put together here. Yeah, she's minding her own business here. And it say um lost fire or lost job triggered so whoever this girl is um in the past she's you could be triggering this person you could be making her mad she might have some type of pressure towards you because she's literally getting fight yeah crazy crazy bitch losing her motherfucking mind i told you she's losing her motherfucking mind because she got fired from her position from her job like this was like that's how she looked at it, this shit that's how you know she didn't love this person this she looked at it, this person as like a job she do what she's supposed to do carried it to him and she get paid for it. So she didn't really care about this person trigger. And that triggered that man. Cause like, damn, you only want me for a paycheck. And this is some type of crazy bitch. Anyway, she always full of problems. She always getting busted, going to jail, drinking and driving. She always doing illegal ass shit. Like it's like always something with this hoe. She's fucking crazy. She's losing her motherfucking mental. It's like, cause he's finna pull you close getting closer i feel like he want to pull this he want to pull somebody new close but i also feel some energy where she's trying to keep this man but it's not happening i'm telling you this man say drag you into some bullshit he's going to drag you into this shit because he wants you he wants you he can't take not have you he's tired of he tired of looking at you on social media he wants yeah i'm telling you all over his dick 
Okay, she, he wants you. He wants you. That's exactly how I'm feeling. Like, he wants you. And I feel like whoever this girl was, she was some type of fan. She was some type of groupie. And he just liked her because that's what she was. But she manipulated all that shit. Yeah, this was something he was doing just to waste time. This was just something he was literally doing just to literally waste his time here. And she fell in love, but he was not in love with that shit. He, he was just... He was just there. It was just something fun to do. That's the answer God truth. It was just something fun to do, bro. See what else going on? I feel like that girl, too, probably have a big booty. She probably have a fat ass. Take it how it resonates. And he probably thought that that bitch was privileged, too. He thought that he thought that she was you, but she wasn't. She wasn't. She was doing the legal shit to get her money. And even if, even if like, you know, everybody do something illegal, but she was doing hot ass shit. Like, like bitch, why would you even do that shit? That's the... And then she got caught doing her shit. You feel me? Like she didn't have, she didn't have the power like you had. She didn't have the protection, the covering, the blood of Jesus like you had. Main female, okay? That's what I'm saying. Being his main female is like a job because he's gonna pay. He don't give a fuck about the money, but he has to have somebody that don't give a fuck about the money as well. That's honest. Yeah, journey here. So he been reflecting over all these bitches that he chose as his main female, realizing like, damn, all this shit ended bad here. So he's choosing like, damn, I got to make something different here. I feel like this person might end up traveling to you. He might end up going out his way. You might travel to him, take how it resonate. Yeah, mature woman here. So he could have been dealing with a lot of older females, a lot of older females that did not work out here. So he's choosing something young. Yeah, official, official man. He, they gave him problems. They gave him challenges. They gave him like, like <clears throat> type energy here. They always wanted to manipulate him. So he done been through a lot. That's why he had to boss up. That's how he had to overcome a lot of shits too. Because of these older females. That's why the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles was out here. Yeah, that's why he's choosing somebody single with no kids here. Because all these mature women with children, they always be manipulating this fuck. They always try to manipulate the kids, all type of shit. So he just like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm going towards something young. Somebody young and privileged. I don't want to keep dealing with this shit. Even if she ain't young and privileged, bitch, I can make her privileged. I can make her privileged. I can make her what I need to fucking make her, shawty. I'm tired of making these old ass bitches and they always end up putting me in shit. And that's exactly how he feel. He mean. This, that's how you know he are, son. Them Taurus, Virgos, and them Capricorn. Virgos a little bit. Virgos a hold off. They won't. They won't. <laughs> Virgos a hold off for a minute before they tell you, before they tell you how it is because you know Virgos are mutable signs. So they they can they can adapt. But them damn Capricorns and them damn Taurus. <laughs> Girl, them motherfuckers gonna fry your ass. Them motherfuckers is gonna fry your ass and they don't give a fuck. That's how you know they are Earth sign because they gonna tell it how it is. Yes. I'm not finna bite my tongue for you, bitch. Who is you? That's how they feel. That's how they feel. So don't be mad. That's what I'm hearing. Don't be mad. This man most definitely, he gonna, he gonna tell you what you need to change, what need to be different, everything. But he's in despair right now. He's stressed out. He's going through a lot. He's hurt. He's mad. This bitch probably could have fucked somebody close to him. Take it how every resonate. He been getting a lot of messages about this shit. A lot of a lot of stuff that's been going on behind his back with his journey card being here. This bitch probably been, like I said, fucked his official man, fucked somebody close to him. And I'm just, he just like, damn. You know, he been getting a lot of messages, a lot of signs, a lot of stuff been coming to the surface. No longer can the truth be hidden. That's what I'm hearing. No longer can the truth be hidden. I'm talking about like this man literally not even asking for this shit. <laughs> He's not even looking for the truth. The truth is literally just coming to him. Coming to him. Coming to him. Like God is doing it. God is doing it. Yeah, good fortune here. Because this person was after his money. They was after for what he could, what he could offer. His, like I said, because of his benefits here. So like I said, he's going to get some type of lucky break in life. And you're going to be a part of that. I feel like you're going to be the lucky break that's going to come into his life. The good fortune change. I, tell, I told you. Some, everything is literally finna change. Everything is finna go up from here when y'all two pair up together. It's finna be a whole nother different vibe with you. Because you're not how the past people used to be. I told y'all, false person. This man most definitely was dealing with a false person. He was not dealing with somebody who was genuine. This bitch was fake as hell. I'm here. <laughs> faker than her jewelry. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm hearing. Shout out to faker than her jewelry, bro. 
Yeah, sudden wealth here. She just wanted that man for his money here. This man was going through bad health. I feel like she probably wanted that man to die. Yeah, that's why the caution card here. She probably wanted him to die toward the, toward the lady. This is black magic. She probably was putting black magic on him or potions, taking out every resonance. She probably was putting shit in his food, all type of shit. She wanted this man to die because she felt like if he died, she'll get sudden wealth. She'll get all the money. Like they had, I'm hearing insurance fraud. Ooh, somebody could be going to jail for insurance fraud. Wow, it could be all type of shit finna go go down with this hoe. I'm hearing he not finding it either. He letting that shit happen. Whatever she did, he he not he not paying for no lawyer. That's why that that's why that motherfucking public defender here. He ain't paying for no lawyer. He ain't doing nothing. I don't get no fuck. That's exactly how he feel. He don't get no fucks. Married in occupation. She literally only married him for a check. So this person either could be married to him or she could have took out some type of life insurance on him. Take it how it resonates, but she did it for work. She did it for money. She did it for some type of income here. She didn't want shit else. Okay, secrets in a family room, imprisonment. The secret is that bitch finna end up going to jail about something, ho. I can't wait to find out what it is. <laughs> I can't wait. Did y'all know about y'all? It's something to do with insurance fraud. Setting niggas up too. This hoe is shifty. Like, she do multiple shit. She don't just do one thing. Like, say for instance, if you do one thing just to get money and it's your one thing, right? This bitch do multiple things. She, she, she set niggas up. She robbed niggas. All type of shit, bro. She got insurance fraud going on. She got good scams going on. Like, man, it's so much shit that the DA got on this hoe. I'm talking about frying her. I'm talking about they frying that bitch. They frying that whole like every which way. She 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 do stuff out of state. Every which way they finna get her. They finna literally tell her ass down. Shawty, she fucked up. She fucked up. She got too greedy. That's exactly what I'm hearing. That hoe got too greedy. She done fucked up. Yeah, she, she just was thinking about that sudden wealth. That's all she wanted was that money. She wanted to hit the jackpot. And every time she was getting it, she was getting it. She was getting that money. I ain't even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie to you. She was getting that bread. That's why he kept that hoe. He might have had money, but she was in competition with him. That was another thing. She was trying to outbeat his ass. She was trying to, oh, yeah, I, I'm a privileged woman. I'm a privileged woman. I make my own money. I don't need a man for shit. But look what you did. Look what you did to get it. You, she was going through that damn devil. She, she could have been making sacrifices. That's why this came up. Sacrifices and rituals. She could have been making sacrifices, burnt offerings, everything to the devil to get all this money. And the, and God, and the devil was giving her the money. The devil was like, God was allowing the devil to give her everything because God said, I'm going to tear that shit up. I'm going to tear that shit up. The devil was literally using her for her soul. Like she now, she now literally belongs to the devil. So the devil could have promised her, oh, I'll protect you. I'll never go to jail. You will never go to jail. This, that, and the third. Understand when the devil promised you something, God got to keep, God got to okay it. God has to okay it. God didn't okay that shit. When it's time, I, let, her, let her get away with that shit. Let him or her get away with all that shit. All of that shit. Because when it's time, I'm going to tear that ass up. What that damn when it's time, I'ma tear that ass up, boy. That's what the devil said. I mean, that's what the devil and God said. Let that ass do whatever they gonna do. I don't get no damn. The devil already know he going to hell. He already know what's going on. He know that God will never forgive him, shawty. So he want to take as many souls as he can. So when he done using you, he throw your ass in the trash. And that's what literally somebody literally finna get thrown in the trash because they went against God. They wanted to be God so they let go. Let you have been let go. <laughs> if you from a level, you know what that means. You know they come on weather since apart. You have been let go, Shawty. It said he has kids here. So this is somebody who has kids. Okay. This is a man who has children. I told y'all he's going towards somebody who do not have kids. I kid y'all not. He probably been watching y'all since December. He been watching y'all for a little minute now. This is not a game. He's realizing life is not meant to be perfect, but it's meant to be lived here. He want to go live his life. He want to have a good time, Shawty. He tired of this stress. He is tired of this stress. He said your life will mean something one day. This is going to be a part of this man's testimony. Your life going to mean something one day too, Shawty. You're going to be like a fucking hero. I'm telling you, Shawty. Physical health need attention. This man going through physical health problems. Everything like this. I'm hearing my body weak. My body tired. That's exactly how he how he's feeling right now. 
Let's see what's going on. It's that number eight. Believe in yourself. Exactly. Believe in yourself when you get here because a lot of people are going to try to tell you down. It's a lot of evil spirits in the world that you're going to, but understand that God has his anointing. Like he has his anointing. He has his protection over you. So you don't have to worry about what none of these people are going to say about you. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's why God put you in the season to boost your confidence up. I told you to make sure that, to let you know that you're beautiful. So when all these women try to tear you down, how they do everybody else, that shit ain't gonna phase you. These bitches wanna be you so bad here. Secret lover watching you. These hoes wanna be you so bad, so they gonna try to tear your ass down. I told you. You are protected. You have a purpose. That's why God is putting you here. So don't be scared, honey. I'm here. Don't get scared now. Don't get scared now. Don't get scared now, baby. Carmen, family members, it's going to be fake-ass family members that's going to try to hurt your feelings. Yeah, this person is going to differ from your usual type here. New chapter most definitely is coming soon. It's a earth sign. You could be an earth sign. He could be an earth sign. Take it however it resonates. May coming out again. Taurus energy again. Think bigger. Think bigger on who this person is. This is somebody, This is an unexpected life changer here. Your life is literally going to change all of a sudden. Like, damn. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? I didn't even expect this. It's like how it resonates here. It's, it's more than what you know. It's more than what be, meets the eye. Somebody could have gave this man an STD in the past here. I feel like he had to go get that cured. He had to go get that fixed here. I feel some energy too where it's a good toxic. So y'all gonna have fun in y'all own way. Five, five, five. Some type of major change is coming into your life. Springtime, new beginning, fresh starts. New beginning, fresh starts, honey. It's a, it, this is a whole. This is gonna be a whole start over. That's what I'm hearing. Everything you're gonna have a new YouTube channel, a new TikTok, a new social media. Everything is gonna get deleted, and it's gonna be something new. January is coming out, so this person probably watched you January as well. His birthday could be January too. For some, take how it resonate, or something. Some of this stuff probably been happening since January for some. All right, y'all. So, um, yeah, it's like smart at the bottom of the deck. Y'all gonna have a deep conversation about this stuff. So he gonna talk to you about this energy. So thank y'all for, um, watching. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. You go this out. Peace.